The bottomland hardwood forests of central South Carolina have a lot to offer, and Congaree National Park is no exception. Bordering the Congaree River, which the park is named after, the park resides on a floodplain and is teeming with animals unique to riverside environments. South Carolina used to be covered in floodplains until the 1500s when Hernando de Soto explored the area, eventually wiping out the native Congaree Indians with smallpox. The swamps remained relatively quiet before English settlers started building settlements in 1740. However, it wasn't until shortly before the Civil War, when the bottomlands were actually be able to be converted into farmland, and it wasn't until 1895 that logging began destroying the once abundant habitats of Congaree National Park. This was short-lived, however, as the operation shut down in 1915. The damage had already been done, though, as what had been over a million acres of bottomland forest was decreased to just over 12,000. In 1969, loggers once more sought to exploit the wood in the bottomlands of the Congaree River Basin. However, this time, conservationists insisted that this valuable part of our country be protected from commercialization, and by 1976, Congaree Swamp National Monument was created. The park held this status for 27 years before becoming a national park in 2003. One person who helped this park come to be was Harry Hampton, a native South Carolinian who participated in the conservation efforts to create Congaree. Hampton passed away in 1980 and is remembered by the park's visitor center, which is named after him. From the visitor center, there are many options to explore this diverse national park. One of the popular ways to see a sample of this environment is by walking along the 2.4 mile boardwalk trail, which heads into the Congaree floodplain and offers views of the bald cypress, tupelo, and loblolly pine trees. Other trails meander around oxbow lakes and minor creeks on the property. But by far the most rewarding experience at Congaree are the two major rivers in the area, the Cedar Creek and the Congaree. Canoeing and kayaking bring visitors close to wildlife such as the river otter, herons and egrets, and alligators. If you are staying in South Carolina, consider checking out this wonderful national park.